Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be checking out a game called Voin. They're having a playtest on Steam. It's some kind of first person hack and slash game. I'm hoping it's similar to like Diablo, but just from first person. That would be amazing. Let's check it out. Here we are in the Voin. Oh, we dropped right into the game. So I assume we got to do some kind of tutorial here. So we got to approach a sphere. Begin your training. Okay, let's go. Uh, draw your sword with the R, then you get a light attack. We get a heavy attack. Do a heavy attack. Ooh. I like the heavy attack. It's pretty good. Use the sphere to spawn more illusions. Okay, we need more mobs here. Oh, I like how bloody it looks like. To restore one heart charge, to heal, activate three runes on the weapon, hitting monsters, and then use a thunder strike. Okay, let's try it out. When all runes are charged, use thunder strike to restore health charge. That's it? I think I got it. So we can dash. We can like... From this yellow damage, we can dash out of it. Oh, that's really good. Use static field. Not sure what that does. Whirlwind. Oh, it's a spin to win. Oh, that's pretty cool. We got a lightning sting. We can interrupt it early. Oh, okay, so it, it keeps waiting. Seat your sword and perform lunge attack. I think you move faster when you, uh, when you seat your uh, sword. I'm pretty sure. With your sword seated, use super dash. We have to actually climb up. Oh, I failed. Ah, there we go. Okay, we gotta do some parkour here. Ooh, we made it. There is no fall damage. I like that there's no fall damage. That's really nice. You can drop on these enemies. Do like a lightning attack. A superhero landing right there. Control slide and jump. Oh. Well, that failed. Do I need to have my weapon like seated? Okay. I feel like there's like a low gravity or something here. You kind of float around a little bit. Oh. I think I just got killed. Already getting killed in the tutorial. I don't know what this field does. Oh, wow. Got some good combos. I'm do the whirlwind. There we go. And then we got a weapon. Oh, this looks very like ARPG weapons here. Not in playtest. It has an execution plus two. Let's pick it up. Blackguard. Can we actually equip it? No. I like the menu. This looks really clean. Definitely a type of game that I would love to, to play when it comes out. Put it on my wish list. I think I've seen enough already to be to like I want to play the game. Welcome to our first level, a vast open world location. Oh, does he have an open world too? You can open your journey menu. Tap. Oh, interesting. So you have like quest, you can read it, and then it tells you what to do. It looks pretty good too, like graphically. I like the look of the game. While the Wout Mountain Citadel stands ensnared within the arcade barrier, I must locate and eliminate all three barrier emanators scattered through nearby villages, ruins, and inside a cave under the giant tree. Is that the giant tree? I think so. But I guess we just go explore. Ooh, so many enemies here. I really like the combat in this game. It feels really good. I like see how they got to into pieces when you hit them. Just cut them through. Pretty cool. Got him. That was some a uh, bit of a tougher mob there, I guess. What's in here? Oh, this guy's really killing me. So that's how I get heals. Okay, I kind of know how to get the heals now. So I need to do the uh, the runes and then hit with the mouse too. That's basically a heal. Oh, we died. Damn it. You were stopped. The act of vindication is inevitable. Oh, no. I lost all my stuff. I lost all the weapons. So in here, this is like a hop. You can level up your character and heal up after your run. Ah, so it's like a roguelike game then. Decide which open world level you want to go for that are available in this uh, playtest. Retail lost tainted items. Oh, we can go get our uh, all my lost items. If I can find them. 
Oh, maybe the beam is like where my uh, where my loot is. Ah, shit! We died again. Oh my god, this game this game is difficult. I like it. It's gonna be more careful. We got tibia. What's that? Is that a new weapon? Oh shit, that hurts. Okay, we only lost two life there. That was pretty good. Oh, I survived. Wow, that was a lot of loot. How do we take this one? Do we just hit it? Okay, we got it. I finally figured it out. I did get a bunch of items though. Just can't use any of these. Devastation. Yeah, the loot seems pretty interesting in this game. So what if I go back? Can I go back? What happens? Master have brought the portal back to memory. Look the bright beam in the sky. It's like some kind of blue stone here. I'm gonna go check that out. Try not to die. Oh, this is the, uh, the barrier that we need to... Ooh, I'm farming these guys. I'm in full HP now. Perfect. Oh no, I lost it all. That's not good. I really like the whirlwind skill. It's so good. They do like so many attacks. I definitely need to use the whirlwind way more than I'm using. Oh, these little rats are kind of annoying. Woo. Is that the last wave? Hey, we got it. That was the first one we needed to take down. So there's the beam. We, we can get out of here, I think. I kind of want to see what happens when we go out with the loot and those uh, points. Oh, here it is. The portal. My heart discharged to the max. I'm not sure how we use things here. Like, are you able to converse with various NPCs related to quest or... Oh, interesting. I don't feel like we're able to do anything here. I'm, I'm back on this one. Yeah, this must not be available in the, uh, the playtest. Oh, I got the heavy attack on that guy. That was really good. That was something like a boss. We, we got a vampiric heart from that. I'm so dead. Oh, shit. What if I can just run away? And go, like, heal. Oh, I think I found some kind of chest here. Ooh, so there is chest you can find too. That's great. Here you can cleanse tainted items. Well, let's see how that works. Items cleansed. What? Does that mean we can use them now? Oh, now we can like use all these items. Increase damage to stun monsters. Increase damage dealt 6%. That one seems pretty good. You can equip that on. You can. Has four charges. Replenish a charges upon landing a critical hit. Has six seconds cooldown. Eight to eleven weapon. Fast. Oh, it even looks cooler. In the future, you will be also able to craft new items. Oh, that would be so nice when you're able to craft things. So I guess the, this is gonna be uh, like a spot where there's gonna be a lot of NPCs in the full game. Those are just not in the playtest. Let's go try this new sword. I actually got this blue sword. That's pretty nice. It does seem to be a quite a bit more damage. We have to find two more of those towers. There's one here. I like slicing pretty well through these, these mobs with this new sword. And then after skill I do more damage. Wow, it's so much easier now. Okay, we got it. So now we're only missing one more. And then we got all three, I think. I think we got the ruins one and we got the cave one. So we need the villages one. Yeah, this looks like a village. Oh, I see the blue light. I think we got it. I kind of like this. Um, there's plenty of like exploration in this game. It doesn't show you just on the map like where to go. You actually have to like read the quest and then kind of figure it out. Oh, we got like uh, another level of weapon. That's really good. What the hell? It's a primeval. I assume that's like a, a better tier. Oh, there's way too many casters here. Oh, shit. I got clapped. There goes all my loot. Do you get to keep your weapon, though? So you do get to keep some of the loot, I guess. Well, that's a pretty easy one to get, so... I'm not gonna have any problem with that. I really just need to use my dodge way more. Like, that's kind of... I'm trying to save it, but it doesn't make any sense to, like... 
Oh, there's a chest here too. A vampiric card, but it's a blue one. Oh, nice. Cutting their head off. That's always good. Okay, I think I got my loot back. I hope. Yep. So you do get everything back. Which is really nice. You just have to get to your loot. The healing mechanic is pretty interesting. Like, you need like three hits and then you can heal. Okay, let's see where, where the quest takes us. I can do these waves now. At least they only spawn like the easy ones, so... Not that difficult. I think we got it. We broke it. So I think now we can go back. But our next quest is available now. Flesmith Vrogorog. We gotta go kill that one. It doesn't tell you at all where where the boss is though. So you kind of just have to guess. Oh, the portal is already here. I'm out. Let's go unlock all these items. Okay, we got this better weapon now. Mitrium Claymore. Put it on. We also got a better egg. The items actually seem like pretty interesting in this game. So I assume it's gonna be uh, heavily about the items. Oh, that just gave me a level. Running through the portal. We're level 2 now. What if I run through again? We're level 3. Level 4. Okay. But what do we do with the levels though? I think it's gonna be here in the character tab, but... It's unlocked on the, uh, the playtest. Okay, we definitely have to try to find the boss now. I have a feeling it's gonna be this way. If I follow the road here, maybe it takes me to the boss. Oh, this sword looks really cool. It's cool, cool skin on it. I like it. You actually lose the healing stack if you don't hit your target. It punishes you if you miss your like heavy attack, which is pretty nice. What? How did I die? Oh no. I didn't look at my health. I think that's more like my third death so far. I really didn't expect this to be like an open world kind of game where you get to travel in the world. It's actually really cool. Oh? Huh? Secret treasure found. Oh, there's dual blades. I do kind of want to try a different weapon too. Like, how is that going to play out? I didn't drop any items, I think. I only dropped my... Oh, I didn't have anything. Okay. That looks kind of like somewhere where the boss would be, so... Let's check it out. This sword is really good. Just can't murder everything with it. Ooh, this is some kind of like a uh, ruin here. The watchtower. I have a feeling this is where the boss is gonna be. Yep, in the basement. Yeah, I really like the whirlwind. It makes it so easy. Especially in like a close quarters. I don't know if you're gonna be able to learn any new skills on this like playtest. Probably not, but I assume there's gonna be more runes on the full version that you can get different skills, you can make different builds. So far this game has been really good. Like this is definitely my type of game. Uh, I could see myself buying this and playing it through. It could also have a lot of replayability, which is always nice. That's one thing about like the uh, kind of roguelike games that they have a lot of replayability. You can just keep on playing them forever. Obviously, they get pretty repetitive at the end, but they're really nice to play a couple, couple times through. Then you move on to the next game. The Lost City of Omi Rex. I don't even know if I'm in the right place, but I hope so. Ooh, it's a purple. Is it a... Ah, it is. Opening a chest grants one additional item most of the time. Oh, I like that. Successful light attack restores a knockback charge. Increased damage by 16% for each missing heart charge. Ooh. So I guess it just shows me what the stats are for, but those are not in the game yet. So I guess the stats are not like, they don't matter in the in this playtest, which is fair. But at least you get a taste of like what kind of items you can expect in this game. We can just kill this guy staying on this rock. Whoa, so easy. Secret treasure found. Ooh, it's a big chest. Really got nothing interesting. I already have all these items. I'm in a bit of that spot here. Hey, 
His mages are kind of painful. Oh, that one got stuck on the on the stone. Got him. What is that? I thought there was gonna be like a boss here, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, it's up here. What the hell? Oh, I killed the other one. I killed both of them. I didn't have time to look what their names were though. So I'm not sure if that's the boss that uh, we needed to kill. This page is yet to be filled. Took a slight detour into the cave, which wasn't part of our quest. So let's go look for the uh, flesh meat Rogorog now. White Mountain Citadel. That kind of looks like a uh, White Mountain Citadel to me. We just need to go around, I think. Yeah, this looks like the White Citadel, I think. I don't think there's any other way to go. Now that I already went into that one uh, basement. White, Mo White Mountain, Imperial Citadel. There we go. We're in the right place now. I think we're just gonna climb higher and higher. I assume that's where the boss is. Hopefully. This is a pretty cool looking castle too, like... Looks pretty awesome. Oh, I think that's the boss. Oh, uh, we'll see if it's gonna be difficult. Let's check it out. You know the same boss that I already killed in the cave? Oh, it does like a spin to win attacks. Woo! No way, that's it? That can't be it. That was so easy. No, that's not it then. Oh, what is this? The snakes. Journal updated. Oh, so that's how we got it. We just needed the source from here. Powerful weapon is now in my possession. Flesh me to Rogorog. I must find the watchtower and all. Oh no, I already went through that. Now we can actually go. We have the quest for the watchtower, so we can actually go through it and try to find the, the boss here. So let's get it. Okay, so we have a door, but I think the door takes us out of this place, so we might have to jump down there. Jump on the lava. We let's go. Oh, this definitely looks like a boss room. There, there's the boss. Oh, we just got wrecked. There's actually this secret door you can use to get there quicker. So you don't have to run through the whole place. Which is pretty nice. So let's try the boss again. Whee! Let's get my items back though. Oh, so much loot. Got one shot it again. The game is madness. Let's try it the third time. Let's go. Oh, there's like an explosions. Oh. Die! Oh, we got him! Good, that was an easy one. I mean, only needed like three times to kill it. Fleshmith Grand Hammer. So I think that's the uh, the journal done. The Fleshmith is dead and his hammer is mine now. Well, there we have it, Voin. I played the playlist for around an hour. Yeah, it's a pretty cool indie game. Uh, the playlist is pretty, pretty limited, but that's fine. It just gives you a little bit of a taste for the game. And it feels really cool. So they have planned like multiple open worlds to explore. You got new abilities and skill trees, engaging storyline and quest, more monsters to slay and bosses to conquer. And then we have more weapon types, items and enhancements. So yeah, I think this game could be something to buy definitely for me. It's like a nice blend of uh, kind of like a roguelike game and like ARPG items and stuff like that. So yeah, it's pretty nice. And I really like the first person view on a game. Finally something with the first person. But yeah, tell me in the comments. What do you think about Voin? Do you find it interesting? Is it something you would enjoy playing? Give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.